So you want to buy your first stocks. Here's how you can buy them on TD Direct Investing. Let's get into it. So the first step when it comes to purchasing stocks is to have a brokerage account. Today, as I said, we'll be using TD Direct Investing and I will leave a link in my description box. Once you have opened your account, let's go into the first step. The first step is that you open a separate account within that account. So you can open a TFSA, an RSP, an FHSA, whichever account makes most sense for your specific financial needs. I will link a video in my description box with details on which account you should open. So you can watch that video if you are struggling to figure out which account to open. So I have opened my TFSA. This is one that I've had for many years and this is my TFSA. Uh, the first thing you wanna do is you want to transfer money into the account. So you have two options. You can transfer money from your existing checking account within TD and just transfer it over to your investing account or you can transfer from an alternative bank. So you will go over here and slide all the way to the right and you will click fund. When you go to fund, you will say, okay, I want to put money in here weekly, for example, or let's say bi-weekly so that it goes with your pay schedule. And then you will just select which account you want it to go into. And then you will give all your details from your bank so that it, it does an automatic transfer from whichever bank you're using for your checking account directly into your TD Direct Investing account. Simple and easy. The next step is to search for a stock. So on this homepage, we are going to click on trade and then you can enter the symbol of any stock that you want to purchase. Let's say that we want to purchase VFV. VFV is an S&P 500 ETF, which means it has lots of different companies within that one ETF. So I'm gonna click VFV. So you can type it in here and it will give you two options. I'm gonna click the Canadian one. And then you have all of these different options of what you want to do. So do you want to buy or sell on the top? Uh, you can see that the bid price right now is $144.37 and the ask price is $144.66. And then you can choose market, limit, stop, or trailing. Today we'll focus on market and limit. So if I were to do a market buy, I could say that I wanna buy one share of VFV and then it will buy it at whatever price somebody else is selling it right now. Right now it's selling at $144.61, but let's say somebody else wants to sell it at $148. That means that there's a possibility that my purchase will go through at $148 instead of the $144 that it's worth. So to avoid this, what we will do is we will do a limit buy. A limit buy means that I can say, I wanna buy one share, but the most I'm willing to pay for that share is $144.61. And then it will make sure that I do not purchase for anything more than that value. So I think that for every investor, this is the right way to invest so that you can make sure that you are controlling how much you purchase a stock for. The next thing that you need to do for this order to go through is to say when this order is good till. So it can be good till the day, meaning that if I put this order in today, it will be good until 5 p.m. that day. Or you can choose specify, which means that I can say, I want this to be good until March 28th. And that means that if the stock goes up suddenly and it doesn't reach your price that you have put it at, until March 20th, it will keep trying and trying and trying to fill your order at the price that you have set it to purchase at. So those are the two options that you currently have. The next thing is that you can put in your trading password. So just enter your trading password. You don't have to have a trading password, but this is an extra layer of security so nobody else can purchase on your behalf. Then you're gonna put, click preview order and then you are gonna put your order through and it will purchase when the order is able to be filled. And there are lots of different stocks here. There are Canadian stocks, there are US stocks, there are ETFs, there are emerging stocks. So just pick the one that makes most sense for your situation. Then when you are in the app, if you wanna see your growth over time, you will just go to your holding section within your TFSA. So here you can see that I have Tesla and Tesla, uh, at the point that I bought it, it's up by $1,402 or 35%. So this is just an overview of my stock that I currently have. And if I want to sell the stock, I would just click sell here. And the same thing, I would choose a limit price of how much I'm willing to sell it for. And then I would go through all the steps and just 
preview my order and submit my order that way. So that is how you buy and sell stocks on TD and also how you monitor your progress. If you have any questions about how to use TD, I would love to answer them and let me know which stock are you going to purchase on this investing journey. If you check out my videos, I have lots of content to support you on your investing journey. So make sure that you check out the rest of my channel. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.